This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement on the annual purge. Char! <laughs> so again guys, welcome back to my channel. Once again, welcome back to my channel. So this time guys, wala tayong voiceover na gagawin. Wala tayong mga documentaries. Kundi ang gagawin natin is to explore, alam na alam nito, my iPad. So this is my iPad. I used this iPad for almost two years. So this one. So ginamit ko to for almost two years. Itong yung gamit ko in school and also gamit ko for my students. So this time yung normal. So explore natin yung mga apps na pwedeng gamitin ng mga estudyante at ng guro. So let's go. Cheese me. So let's begin. So ito yung mga apps na naka-download na dito sa iPad. So this is for education and also for personal use. So magsisimula tayo dito sa pre-installed apps. So first is the calendar. This is very important for me to know my daily and weekly schedules. Sometimes din, gumagamit ako ng camera for me to capture, especially pag may mga seminars. At saka yung picture, ilalagay ko naman dito sa my tinatawag natin notes sa iPad. So, I use also notes for my note-taking. So, ito yung laman ng notes ko. Okay, this is yung mga businesses. Then, buko dun, yung mga stories na pinagawa ko, yung mga reviews, mga scripts for my blogs. I use also, guys, I message to contact my friends na gumagamit ng iPhone and other Apple devices. So, halimbawa nila dito, guys, meron tayong group message, which is yung kabilang dito si Ma'am Lizelle, si Ma'am MRC Bissarel, si Ma'am Ragas, at si Ma'am Rita Garces. Meron pa si Ma'am Love at saka si Sir Luzora. Isa din sa mga useful app na gamit ko ay ang iMovie. Minsan kasi dito ako nag edit ng mga videos for my vlog or for my YouTube channel. So, isa niya sa importanteng application guys na nasa iPad ko ay ang Stay Safe PH. Pag sinabi natin Stay Safe PH, ito ay isang application na nagtatrack ng mga positive patients sa buong bansa. Malalaman din natin sa application na to kung gaano nakarami yung COVID positive, mga nakarecover at namatay na sa Pilipinas. So, madi-download ang Stay Safe PH sa mga Android and iOS devices, sa App Store at saka sa Google Play Store. Sa baba naman ng iPad guys, dito sa tinatawag nating dock, kung nandito yung mga importante yung mga bagay na gagamitin ko sa eskwelahan. So, unang-una dyan ay ang Safari. Pag sinabi natin Safari guys, dito ko sinesearch lahat ng mga importante bagay na gusto kong mahanap online. Then, gumagamit din ako guys ng iCloud. Pag sinabi natin iCloud, dito ko in-store yung mga importante mga bagay like files, keynotes, numbers, pages, at lahat-lahat na. Then, buko dun guys, kumagamit din ako ng FaceTime. So, ito FaceTime. Hi! So, yan FaceTime guys. Then, buko dun yung Microsoft Word and Excel. Then, pages na from Apple and also numbers from Apple. The next, sa so second line dito sa home ko guys, ay makikita natin yung mga in-installed ko na na mga applications. First is, one of the important is the Twitter for social media. Hindi ako mahilig guys na mag-folder ng mga applications because I feel na muro siya okay ng Google siya tanawong. Then, not accessible when you open your apps. And the second one, I have also Gmail for my emails and for my YouTube. Then, I have Lazada app. Then, PicArt. Dito ko ina-edit yung mga, yung mga thumbnail ko in YouTube. Then, I also have, as a teacher, merong Phil Filipino dictionaries. I have also Yahoo Mail for my Apple ID. 
Then splice. That is an editing tool for my short films. I use splice. Basic lang yan guys. Hindi yan katulad ng mga pro. Then, meron akong teleprompter. Teleprompter guys. This is a help. Kung meron akong mga classes. Then sa script din. This is very important. Yung teleprompter. Next is the Google Maps. So, I use Google Maps guys. Kaya parang mas accurate pa siya. Gamitin niyo sa iba. Next is the Premiere Rush. So, wala akong Adobe Premiere. So, I use Rush. Uh, Premiere Rush to edit my vlogs. Then, Media Converter if there is videos na hindi siya makakonvert into AVI or MP4. So, I use Media Converter. Then, I use also Google Drive. Then, my YouTube Studio. Then, I also use Share It. Para sa mga Android user, especially to my students. Instagram in my iPad. Then, for the students and other teachers, you can use Sheets, Slides, and Docs. This is Google Sheet. I use this one because yung school for the surveys of the enrollment. Mahikita natin dito yung mga names na naka enrolled na in our school. Next, and the third area sa iPad ko, mahikita natin dito guys, yung for educational use. So, I use Hangouts for my student. Microsoft Teams, if merong mga tawag. Then, SlideShare for my research. Then, Google Classroom. Next is the Teacher's Kit. So, the Teacher's Kit guys, I used this one for almost two years. So, ano to? May buhok. Okay, so I used this one for two years na. So, this one, for example, you can click this. And you can see the students. I used this one before as my daily driver for attendance for my students. Next is Google Duo for video conferences and also Zoom and Google Meet. I hope guys na marami kayong mga tips na nakuha for this coming school year from the applications na mga ibinigay ko from my iPad sa pwede ding ma-download sa Android phones. So thank you for watching guys and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching!